Top drug experts are now voicing concern that teenagers are getting their hands on these new next-gen products that come in all shapes and forms. And their worry is that the THC levels are so high, it can lead to teens suffering psychotic episodes. Here's Steve Patterson. With more than 7,000 dispensaries nationwide, the $20 billion marijuana industry is growing so fast, some state regulators say it's even outpacing alcohol sales. The cannabis choices are growing, too, with new products like Wax or Shatter now available. They're sold in fruity flavors and have levels of THC, the compound in marijuana that makes you high, that can be eight times higher than the pot of 20 years ago, according to state regulators. And that's made some Colorado parents like Sydney Block and Janet Corneal terrified. It was scary. She was slurring her words. She wouldn't wake up. Sydney smoked weed when she was younger and says she couldn't believe her daughter Jasmine's reaction was from marijuana. I was like, there's no way that this is just weed. Janet said she didn't know what her son Will was using. I had no idea. I'll be honest with you. Their teens, 18-year-old Will and 19-year-old Jasmine, were both taking marijuana concentrates using what's called dabbing to get high. When I was first really getting into high potency THC, I don't think I ever had to pay money for it. You just got it handed. Yes. I can't be a coherent, functioning human being when I was under the influence of all the stuff I was using, predominantly high concentrated THC. Dabbers use blow torches to heat up rigs, or they vape the concentrated wax or shatter. One dab could be equivalent to smoking an entire bowl. These pot concentrates with flavors like fruit frenzy are legal for adults in Colorado, but not for kids under 21. It did get to the point where it was like, if I don't smoke weed today, like, I'm not doing anything. I couldn't, like, wake up. I couldn't, like, go to sleep. I couldn't do anything without it. Got so dependent. Will and Jasmine found support at a Denver public high school called 5280 that's designed for so kids in like recovery. The, the amount of THC that's coming into their system is causing severe psychiatric sy symptoms such as suicidality and even psychotic breaks. New state data shows the sale of these high THC products in Colorado has increased by over 150 percent since 2016. The federal government says THC concentrates are more likely to produce anxiety, agitation, paranoia, and and psychosis. Today, Will and Jasmine are both sober and have some advice for the cannabis industry. Rather than putting so much time and effort into like making more and more and more potent things until we have 100% THC or whatever, I think that it is possible to spend more time and effort into looking into how to protect our youth. For the news, I'm Steve Patterson.